It's fun, it's drama, it's real. But you'll only find out if you come in at this. As neighbors Jen and Angie fight their way to a healthier life for themselves and their families. Brought to you by the Heart Foundation of Jamaica's Food Policy Program. So come in at this right now. So tomorrow for sure. All right, I will put it in another group message. A piano mind man, she will come. Four o'clock, right? All right, we can meet in at the junior library. Wait, you feel better? The roots are work. <laughs> I walk now school, I know. Oh, remember me tell you how the PT and the vendors supposed to meet about the healthy food environment at school? You know you're going to store up Ansness, right? Angie, now I like that. You know better start now, you know. Because it's you first open my eye to the food what we was eating and how the youth them need to eat healthier. What the school got about for them canteen? It's not much better. <sighs> a pure snack and sweet drinks them have. Then that not the whole point of the meeting, P. Everybody have to do them part. They plan to meet with all the people them will sell food and drink to the student them. Just know say so you're going to get a fight from the vendor them. Not if you show them how them can still make a money or food that better for the children. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Me, Marco. Then come the man the dog now, trouble you. Is what happened, Marco? I'm okay. Kimani and Maya inside? Yeah, man, them round the back. You can't just pick up your jaw from half of the floor now. No, sir. How oh, Angie's son get so big? Me sure the last time I see him, he wasn't so big. <laughs> May I tell you? Me know said hard for her because of she one, right? I with the selling her everything, she now have no time for cook all the time. And Marco him love the fried chicken. And then back it up with all the foolishness what she sell. Hmm. It's dreadful true. You know, so I see a poster down at the hospital that said when children obese, they tend to follow them as adult, and that make them even more likely to get cancer and heart disease and them things there. Eh? <sighs> People take it light, but it's a serious thing. Then Angie no say him wait a fight him height. You try come off Angie case. But you say your own them down there buy all the no good snack them behind your back. What? What you say? Hmm. All right, all right. Make we see how them are going to buy it without pocket money, no? <laughs> they can't always share with them, friend. That's why I tell you it has to be a school thing so that them can't eat it at the school whether inside or at the gate. That's why tomorrow meeting P is so important. You hear me now, man? You know better put too much things on your plate, you know? Because you see how the thing set right now. Marco! Marco! Angie! What make you stand up outside a call call? Come in, no, man? No, sir. I have to go home and get me good rest. If go battle with all of the hypocrite them down at the school tomorrow. Was Angie really throwing shade at Jen? Is there any hope for both sides to settle their differences at the school meeting? Join us again for another episode as the drama continues on Comina Dis. Brought to you by the Heart Foundation of Jamaica's Food Policy Program. What's in our food? Give us the facts. Welcome to the Come In This episode summary brought to you by Lake Health and Wellbeing. Today's episode opens with Jen confirming plans for a PTA meeting with the vendors to discuss creating a healthy food environment at school. Patrick chimes in because he expects this could be a contentious meeting, especially with Angie and the other vendors. But Jen is adamant that the meeting is necessary to bring everyone together to make and sell food that is better for the children. Angie's son, Marco, enters the scene. From Patrick's reaction, we learn that Marco is visibly overweight for his age and height as a child. Jen highlights that children who are overweight tend to grow into obese adults who are likely to develop heart disease and other forms of cancer. Jen and Patrick are clearly concerned, but they understand the struggle that Angie has as a single mother who is busy running her vending business just trying to make ends meet. Finding the time to prepare healthy meals is hard, and when unhealthy fast foods are so cheap and available, they easily become addictive preferences for children. This is why Jen wants the school to take a stand and ban sugary drinks and unhealthy snacks. She believes that stopping the sale of these foods at the gate and in canteens will help to reduce children's consumption. Jen is optimistic, but Patrick warns that it could be a bigger challenge than she thinks. Would you agree? How feasible do you think it is to bring school management and vendors together to agree on unhealthy food bans on school premises? Is this something that should be considered right here in St. Kitts and Nevis? 
As a parent, would you support it? As a vendor, how could you be persuaded to make a change in what you sell? Just think about it. To replay this episode and follow the other episodes in the coming of this radio series and episode summaries, find us at youaresweetenough.com. Until next time. Drink some water, share some love, tell somebody a sweet enough.